Hi guys, Mike Greer here. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the very powerful and free PDF Exchange Viewer to add annotations and highlights and generally customize any PDF ebook or PDF file which you can display. And then I'm going to show you how you can use the also free and powerful PDFill PDF tools to combine several PDF files which you've already created, marked up, and add headers and footers that run throughout the document, split or reorder pages and do a lot of wonderful stuff, and make that customized ebook that you need for a reference document, a study guide, or whatever. So let's check these out. So to start, we're going to use PDF Exchange Viewer. Now I'm going to assume that you can go to the trackersoftware.com slash product slash PDF Exchange Viewer page, which you're looking at here, and download this product and install it. I'm not going to go through all that installation stuff. So I'm going to assume it's installed, and in my case, I've made it my default PDF viewer because it's so much more powerful than Adobe Reader. So I'm going to begin by going to a folder in which I've placed several PDFs here. So let's check that out. And I'm going to use as examples PDFs which I created using Microsoft Word, but I'll also show you how you can use commercial PDFs or ones that are created by almost anyone. So let's just open what I'm calling the Quick Start PDF. This is a free project management minimalism quick start guide. And as you see, when I click on that, the icon there indicates that it's a PDF Exchange Viewer. So up comes the first page of the PM Minimalist Quick Start Guide, which is uh, a brief 11-page guide. So looking at this tool, you see you can we can go down through it, read it quite easily. The links are all active, and we can jump to those from PDF Viewer. So I mean it's a it's a great PDF reader. But what I can also do is stamp from a collection of preset stamps such as draft, drag that there, make sure it's we can add a text box and I can change the color of this text box and also the font size and so forth. So let's say I want to really get bold here. I'm going to add 16 point font and say this ebook is amazing. I told Uncle Bill about it. So here it is. All right, now I can adjust the size of that and I kind of get it up out of the way where I want it there. Uh, the stroke colors, the background colors, and so forth. We can change all of this. And as I was typing, I can change font size, get back in there and annotate and say I want to make this bold and italic. And boom, I've got an annotated ebook. Whoops, clicked again there, and up came the, the box to add something. Um, callouts. And this is a cool little guy here that is quite visible with this callout arrow. And I can say, check out the cool little guy. And move that, move that around any old place. So as you can see, I'm making my annotations here. I'm going through this quick start guide and I'm saying, all right, I'm going to highlight some text here. So let's just say the important thing for all of us is this thing related to the team. So there I've added a highlight. We can also add a box. And so Uncle Bill really likes, really said that this is amazing. Okay, so now we have, we've added a box that can be tracked there. We know there's another note there, and when we click on it, I accidentally added another one there. Let's get that done. We click on it, it's available to be read or whatever. Okay, typewriter. If you have a PDF that has a form in it, let's say down here, I want to add notes. So I can place my cursor anywhere in the form and say, mini charters are great tools to keep people and I'm gonna put my cursor in there and make that wrap down because I wanted to so I'm gonna do a return focused 
Now I've just added by using the typewriter key, I've added my own annotations to that. So if someone sends you a form and they want you to send it back to them with blanks filled in, whether the form has accessible blanks or not, you can open it in PDF Exchange and you can make annotations using the typewriter on any place in the on the document. So as you can see by the controls up here, there are loads and loads of different kinds of annotations you can make. The call out, the text box, the typewriter we've already demonstrated, but in addition we've got lots of other stuff. This thing will pull in content by using optical character recognition. You can add arrows and lines and empty boxes and, and I'm not going to show you all of these stamps, but you can add your own custom stamps, and I do this all the time. I'm not going to show them the list because I've added my signatures in there, saved my signatures as bitmaps, and I can use, just click right here, just as though it was a draft stamp or a final document stamp or whatever, I can stamp my bitmap signature in a signature blank and then send it back to someone as a saved PDF. So let's just say we're done playing around with this right now. We go over here and choose File. Save copy as, and it's going to give me a choice here. I'm going to say a new annotated, new annotated quick start guide, and then I'm going to save it there. Okay, so there it is. Now, just to show you what we're going to do in the combining stage, I'm going to open, I have already opened some documents in PDF. Exchange Viewer remembers what I've opened, so it's going to say Recent Files, and I'm going to go up here. I'm going to say, okay, show me that flowchart that I opened a little bit ago, and up comes, this is an additional document. Now, notice what we got here. The Quick Start Guide's over here open, and it shows in a tab. The flowchart is now over here open, and it shows in a tab. And this, this is a, a graphic document. I can change the view to give you the zoom out a little bit there. I can also, of course, uh, Make it fit the current page. I can uh, I can do some flipping on this if I want to. I want to turn it sideways, so it's not going to save that, but it's going to do some flipping. And uh, so lots of opportunity there to look around. I just want to show you with a commercial document, which a uh, recent file that I've opened was. I just got the wonderful uh, Olympus VR370 camera. So let's open that, and up comes the user manual. To the Olympus camera. As you can see now, I've got three documents opened. This one's the Olympus document up here, and you get little thumbnails when you go across the tabs. So I've got my quick start guide, my flow chart, and my Olympus manual. When documents have subsections here or chapters, you can go through them. They display like this over here. So you see I'm clicking on the left and up comes the, the various chapters. And so here's this is a commercial document, and I'm going to say, remember whoop, to use these arrows. Okay, so let's say I'm leaving a note to myself, and that's that. So now I can do save copy as, and this is going to have my annotations in it now. So I'm going to say, uh, again, I, this is dropping into my Google Drive, so I'm going to say annotated uh, 370 because it's the Olympus VR 370 manual and just say save. So you get the idea. Annotate, add to, save as a new document, prevent the old document from being you know messed with in any way. And there's just lots and lots of annotations you can do here. So next up, we're going to take a look at how to combine these into one big document. That is my study guide. Okay, so now we've got our PDFs saved as new documents after annotating them and messing around with them. And what we're going to do is use PD Fill PDF Tools, which is free, bare bones, nothing fancy, but boy, it really works. I'm going to show you how to use that to combine those files into my own custom PDF or my own customized ebook. So let's check that out. So I'm going to assume, as I did with PDF Exchange from Tracker Software, that you've gone to this pdfill.com slash pdfs underscore tools underscore free dot html. So when you go to the main web page, you're going to find this here. So this is the free PDF tools page 
that we've clicked on. Okay, so that's what you want. So after you install it, it's very bare bones and very simple. It doesn't even take up the whole screen when you open. But what you can do is merge your PDF files. So let's say to start with, I'm going to put all these PDF files together that we just messed around with and made annotations. So I'm going to say merge PDF files, add a PDF file. I'm going to start with my quick start guide, my quick start project management tool and tell it to add that. It says it's 11 pages long. I'm now going to add the annotated camera manual there. Okay, and that's 78 pages, so that's a pretty big one. Um, then I'm going to add, let's just go with uh, how to descale my Norit's tankless hot water heater. And won't that be fun? We'll just put those all in the same giant document. And up that comes up. That's just a one page chart there. So why you'd want to put those all together, I don't know, but maybe you want to manage the project of you know eliminating the scaling from your Norit's water heater but you can move these documents up and down to resequence them as you can see i'm moving the Norit's thing to be second and then the annotated 370 manual to be third and i'm going to say okay after i get them in the sequence i want i simply say save as and i'm going to call those my fat goofy whoops ebook all right, and just say save it as a fat goofy ebook. Now, chunk a chunk a chunk. It's combining all of these things, and there it's apparently saved them and combined them. And as you can see, it automatically said, "Hey, you want to look at this?" So um, this is my fat goofy ebook, which includes uh, the chapters from the camera manual, as well as some other stuff. So let's just look through this a minute and see what we got. I'm going to go to, um, well, let's just sort of fit it on the page and we'll just click through there. So here's my annotated PM Minimalist Quick Start Guide, the project management book with the annotations still in place. There's my typed in stuff and my annotations. And then I get to the end of that ebook. And here is my periodic maintenance, which I annotated a long time ago to show myself how to do my yearly maintenance on my Norit's hot water heater, which is a, one of those tankless heaters. Very cool. Uh, and then is the VR370 Olympus camera manual. Now, why you'd want to put all these together, I don't know, but that's why we call it a fat, goofy ebook, right? So as you can see, these were quickly combined using PDF fill tool. The other thing I can do is add a header and footer. So I'm going to now notice now that this PDF tool is not the same as my PDF Exchange Viewer, which automatically opened my new fat goofy ebook. So that's why you're, you're seeing that. So I'm going to close PDF Exchange Viewer here and just say, OK, I want to add header and footer. So I'm going to choose the file I want to add the header to, the fat goofy ebook, and I'm going to say open that. And it's going to chug to open it up. And it says, OK, what do you want to appear before the page number on the header? I'm going to, I'm going to say fat go goofy ebook header. And before the page number on the footer page, I wanted to say cosmic debris productions. And that's a nod to my hero, Frank Zappa. Okay, so we say save as. So let's say Fat Goofy ebook 2 and save it. And as you see the little spinner there, it's saving it. Now up comes that ebook, has now been opened. And up at the top, look what we got here. Well, poorly positioned. Because I already had a header, draw, a header on that page, but we down there, Cosmic Debris Productions, one, page one of ninety, Cosmic Debris Productions. As we go through here, suddenly we see that there's a footer. Cosmic, even on the commercial one, we've stamped a footer there. So let's zoom into uh, 100%, and you can see what we got there. And once again, what what happened is. Because I've set my PDF Exchange Viewer, that's the program we talked about originally, as my default, 
Um, it kicks open the document as soon as it's saved. So Cosmic Debris Production is 13 of 90, 14 of 90, and so forth. And that header is being kind of stuck on there. And of course, that's ugly, so I would experiment with positioning the headers in different places. But what matters most is the PDF fill can be used to do all kinds of wonderful stuff for you. You can split and reorder pages. You can you can rotate and crop pages, which I have done with more complicated documents. You just play around and use these tools. But the main thing is, doesn't cost you anything to do this, and you can create your own custom ebooks and tools. So what just happened here? In this demonstration, we looked at PDF Exchange Viewer as a tool to allow you to to read annotate and and do lots lots more stuff than Adobe Reader and it's totally free. In fact, you scroll down the page and you can see all the incredible features that are available. Add comments, add and apply custom stamps, measurement tools, markup pages, type directly on them, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, just on and on. And then there's they they have screenshots, videos and and demo limitations and all that kind of stuff they'll tell you about. That's the freebie. If you want to get really brave and get into some industrial strength stuff, you can get there if you're using it for home and academic use only. Um, you can get the PDF Exchange Lite, which is another tool offered by Tracker Software. But I've found PDF Exchange Viewer is so robust and so powerful that it serves every need I can think of, and I'm a publisher of PDF books. So summarizing, use Tracker Software's PDF Exchange Viewer to make incredibly sophisticated annotations to those PDF documents, those instruction manuals, anything that you have that you want to have for reference or a study guide, and save them as new files without disturbing the original file, and then use PDFill PDF Editor's PDF Tool Package, which is right here, the PDF Tools, to, in a bare-bones way, Put your headers and footers on there, add watermarks, splitter reorder pages, and on and on. These are both a couple of tools that can help you take advantage of all that great free training that's out there. So enjoy!